Hello, everyone. How are things going? We're delighted to see you back. Thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years. It motivates us to create better and more useful videos. Please click the subscribe button and like the video before we begin. We want to ask all of you, do you think that well-being is a more dominant momentum or not well-being? Well-being. Well-being is so dominant, not just a little more dominant, really, 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 really dominant. Well-being is really, really dominant. So that mm -hmm. means that you as an individual or as a species or as a mass consciousness, you can offer quite a bit of lower disc vibration without really upsetting the apple cart much you don't have much influence on that in other words we're not worried about any of you doing anything that takes this earth out of orbit you don't have the capacity the momentum is such you do not have the capacity there are those who are fear-mongering who would tell you that you are or that you could but you can't there is nothing that you can do that could upset that momentum so in like manner there is a well-being that is within these little ones that is really, 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 really powerful. And your influence, while you can influence and you can gradually influence, their well-being is really dominant. Now we know all over the room, all over the planet in fact, there are challenges to that coming forth as you are thinking maybe about things that are going on with children that don't represent the well-being in the way you all want it to be. But we want you to start with the premise that well-being is the dominant force. And then think of yourself as one who's getting on that disc of well-being and adding emphasis to that, rather than one who's challenging well-being with your unnecessary worry about one thing or the other. Because the power of influence, when there is someone up close to you in your life, and you are tuned into source a lot of the time, meaning you're appreciating and you're looking for reasons to feel good and are finding them, then those who are around you do have a better opportunity of then focusing upon you and finding that vibrational alignment with that as well. In other words, power of influence is a very real thing. But having said that, we do not want to ever give any of you the feeling that we are wanting you to be responsible for whatever anybody else is doing with their disc because that's what's going on. That's why so many people don't feel control of their own emotion, of their own choosing of their point of attraction is because they have been influenced by what they are observing. So if we were to say to you, you want to be a really good influencer and you want to make sure that you're always on that disc, that high flying good disc so that you don't ever give anybody that you really care about or anybody an opportunity to be influenced by you into something else. That's the opposite of the message that we're really wanting you to understand personally because we don't want you to be dependent upon other people to feather your nest. We don't want any of you especially your children to be dependent upon what the adults around them are doing we don't want you to need to be in the gaze of someone's positive expectation in order for you to feel buoyed up and to come into alignment we want you to be able to find it anyway we want that for your child too we think the most wonderful mentoring that you could do for anyone is when you realize that you're not on that good feeling disc that you make the statement about it mm. I can tell by the way I'm feeling that I've chosen a point of attraction that's not serving me excuse me I'm gonna go off to myself and see if I can't get feeling better I'm going to stop this momentum in other words you know when someone's approachable about something that you want and when they're not mm. and so the belief that someone else holds your power which might be true with children and parents but really no one holds your power you don't hold the power for your children no one holds the power for anyone else you individually hold your own power so as you are demonstrating to yourself first that you have choices and that you can specifically choose and you are consistently choosing and gathering momentum and choosing the higher good feeling vibration and allowing the momentum to ensue before you know it you will recognize that you are an influencer for well-being but really 
until unless when you are able to convey to those that you care about that they get to choose what their point of attraction is no matter what is going on around them when you can get that point across then things will go really well for them so maybe that happened and certainly it has everyone's had that experience but as you talk about it you just keep the frequency of that alive you're practicing that experience and because you're practicing that experience you keep attracting that experience which oh. then makes you think that you have to protect yourself or guard yourself but you can't it's like you call it and then you try to keep it away and you call it and you try to keep it away and you call it and you try to keep it away so what we were playing with you just now about is just don't call it quite so much don't practice calling it through remembering it or through verbalizing it when you talk about experiences that you've lived that were unpleasant mm. and that you don't want to live again correct you're saying universe bring me more of this that I do not want and then when you see it coming you say no and then you talk about it more and you attract it more and then you say no so do you realize that if you just wouldn't summon it you wouldn't have to say no to it because nothing's coming to you that you're not summoning there's no okay. assertion in this attraction based universe there's not somebody assert nobody's after you nobody's trying to take advantage of you right you've just got a I'm to be taken advantage of vibration going on and compliant people are cooperating <laughs> with your vibration I understand that okay so, so, so next, time it happens, next time it happens you just say thank you for giving me exactly what I'm asking for and making me realize how much I don't want that Thank and so I'm that. going to notice it as le least I can and talk about it as least I can so that I can allow the path of least resistance to deliver to me what I really want certainly you want to be of value to other people and certainly mm. if someone is suffering you want to do what you can do to relieve their suffering but commiserating with suffering only encourages suffering okay. and so what true compassion is what true standing in the vibration of source and being of benefit to someone is is being in such a stable place of knowing that well-being is the permeating environment mm. that well-being is not just trying to make its way into your experience but into theirs too and that if it were not for the habits some of which you've demonstrated here yeah. that are causing you to have resistance that prevents you from receiving the well-being that's there in other words everything that we're teaching is about softening your own patterns of resistance in order to let the well be in and this is the thing that's hard for you to hear because most humans and you demonstrated it here a bit you have a picture that there's bad stuff trying to get in and I've got to protect myself from it when the opposite is true there's only good stuff trying to get in and your guardedness isn't letting it in and the absence of the good stuff makes you experience the bad stuff and you're trying to keep the you see how screwy it is yeah did you just get that yeah I did only well-being is wanting into your experience the path of least resistance will allow it in now we know oh. if you're standing in a place where you've experienced or are experiencing something unwanted these words are not welcome to you right now but it is our promise to you that the well-being is dominant and to the degree that you relax and allow it to flow it will demonstrate itself to you to the degree that you are ready to allow it to demonstrate itself and that there is no bad stuff asserting itself into your experience it's only coming by your invitation but the reason that it feels like somebody else is doing it to you is because you do not believe and we know too that you would deliberately do unkind things to yourself or to anyone else in other words you're you, you didn't say I think I'll screw up my life today <laughs> by focusing on the struggle and hardship that I've been living and that others have been living too you said that that's that was not the intention the deliberate intention that you started out with and yet there is a vibrational pattern that is sort of like that time flies and we've reached the end of today's video we hope you had a wonderful time with us please share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it it means a lot to us finally don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
for more Abraham Esther Hicks teachings. Thank you and good luck.